what's going on guys welcome back so we are on a shaky cam for a good reason and that reason being is i'm going to show you my workbench my work area um i did get quite a few questions if i can show my workspace and i was like why not so um a few, a few of often a lot of you guys want to see what i have and stuff so let's go ahead and show you what i have so here's my typically workbench right here kind of extends down there and stuff but this is basically pretty much weighted here and when I do my videos you're typically looking at a view like right here it's around here but and this is my workbench so let's go ahead and show you what I got in these drawers and stuff just give you an idea of what I have and hopefully this video will help you and you know will help you get some stuff that you don't have what I have and you know hopefully it helps you so right off the bat, um, you might be wondering, these are pretty new. Uh, they are. I actually just got these late last month. Actually, the 30th. So, so um, yeah, these are brand new. And so far, I only had these for a week or, week or so now. And I absolutely love them. No, I didn't have them for a week yet. No, <laughs> not even a week. And I, I'm saying I love them. They, they are incredible. They really do organize your bench. And... You know, as I see, my bench is pretty small, and that's how I like it. And it happens right, it happens just right here in front of me, so it's just really convenient. So let's go ahead and shoot our way from the top on this side, and we'll work our way down. So over here, we got my Mega or MIG paint weathering sets for your engines. You know, mud to rust and all that fun, fun stuff. Chipping, uh, MIG. This stuff is amazing. I love MIG. I used to use 8K, but I'm not a big fan of NK anymore. And that was kind of like a same stuff, but MIG is just a little bit better. It, it, it works for me better, and you know, I like it. So I got those, and I still have some spaces for a few more, so which is fantastic. So, first drawer is I got some, you know, wires and hoses and a chain. So, you know, these drawers over here are not really drawers I really use that much. This drawer here is just some odd stuff, some more exacto blades. I buy like a, I got 300 pack of exacto blades, and they're in here and stuff. And, you know, they last me a whole, you know, probably two years, if not more. Um, so, old, like an old pliers I use, um, you know, more exacto blades, tubes, mesh. So, just, you know, random stuff I use over here. Then over here is my staining, staining twigs, which I use a lot, and some staining, you know, things there. So, staining twigs are a must-have. They, they really do help a lot. All right, work our way up here. We got my paint, paint brushes. There we go. And my famous pointer, you know. So we got that. My spoo cutters and toothpicks, and those are for painting. You know, clipping on some stuff to, for for your paint. And as well, cut the hole. We got my tweezers, a few tweezers in here. Really pointy ones to the Tamaya, big ones to you know the really fat ones. And you know they they come in handy for certain areas. So it, you know it works really good. So in these drawers, we got my Jumbo or Rodeo tool. We got some polishing wheels and the drill bits and stuff. This is I gotta say a must have. Also, all the parts I'm gonna say must have or everything I think. Need it, I'll find a link in the description where you get yours if you need to. But yeah, this is a must have, I gotta say, because this really helps you save time and you know, I I use it all the time. All right, this drawer got some putty, my exacto blades, you know, I keep them in those where we, you know, easy to get to, and then you know, these ones will go in there once that the tank is empty. Putty, some, some scissors and the tape, masking tape I use a lot for masking off body and stuff and uh, to me a fine line masking tape in there and this drawer is my famous drawer of sanding sponges from Tamaya I got to 400, 6,000 to 1500 grits those are the grits I mainly use a lot and I got the nice organized in here so that's really really helpful and I love how I did that really awesome all right, move our way up here. These are the things I use a lot. So everything you see here, get your note and pen, I guess I use it a lot. So I got my, you know, decal setting solution back there, some glue, super glue, the Bob Smith right there. Those are the glues I use. The Bob Smith Maxi, Maxi Cure. Uh, that's 
those, that's the glue I use most of the time for my models. And the gold, super gold plus is good for chrome and clear parts, which I use on my clear parts, just in case you didn't know. And then the activator to make it you know dry faster. Then you know some Flaco paints, the thinner liquid mask, uh, the Flaco metal colors for I use for paint brush. They're, they are airbrush body, but they work amazing for paint brush. And then the Panama Nexa cover, rigor glue and sprue glue right there. And down here it's just some pens and sharpies and a Molotov chrome pen. So. Yeah, those are things I use a lot. So I use these a lot. So, so they're really heavy how they are and easy to get to. Now, all right, so we've got on here. This drawer is empty. This drawer just has some cups and stuff I tend to use sometimes. And then the, the Tamaya weathering powders right there. This drawer is just some extra stuff. Like I got some snow in there from Tamaya. More reducer, just that stuff. And then another bottle of the my extra thin cement let's keep those in there just out of the way toothpicks use a lot i use toothpicks a lot um mainly for gluing if i'm gluing the parts i'll put glue on a piece of tape on my desk and i'll just use a toothpick to put it onto a part because you know you don't want your part you know your model to be a glue bomb because the tube on this is pretty thick so i just put a piece of tape and i use a toothpick and i use a toothpick for our reasons too not just that and cotton swabs slash Q-tips, good for decals or some other reasons. Um, Q-tips are really helpful also, so we got those all in there. So that's pretty much about all that's going on to these guys. So these guys in here, everything in these drawers, I use a lot. I mean, I use quite a bit, and it's just really helpful. It's just reach of my hand, and it's right there. So that's really awesome. Uh, bare metal foil to my paint stands. I use a lot. These drawers, this drawer doesn't open, I gotta figure it out. But it has some wires in there I use for my sugar wires and stuff, homemade ones. Um, some wet sandpaper. Pretty typical. These are some aftermarket parts, such as the engine, resin engine, some new wheels. Oils and butter parts for the for Bronco. Uh, filters, you know, just a bunch of aftermarket parts in this drawer. Down here, same thing, but for the interior, all my flocking, all different types of colors in there, to seats, to my dice, seat belts, and all that fun stuff for, you know, interior goods. And here, these are the must-have, okay, must-have. These are your painting clamps, and I use these all the time. Some of them are actually pretty thick with some paints. I'm going to have to put in a purple pond, or just get new ones in general, but use those all the time every single ball build use them test spoons i use for test spoons and some pencils just in case in a lighter just in case you have been some stuff decals right here all my skill more sports chrome fiber decals and go for racing decals such as license plates or you know racing decals goodyear decals to go cold decals from amt so all those are in there okay got some f marker parts right here okay then the ruler so evergreen, you know, styrene here, and then you know to my thinner that right there. Um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, I use a lot. You know, in some areas you have to use shipping for shipping chrome, um, salt for rusting cars and stuff. So, and all my polishing right there, I use my McGuire's for polishing my models. Count your airbrush and wet sanding water right here. Move on to a drawer right here. Got all my, got some more masking tape. You know, the thick stuff. General Dower masking tape, this stuff is really good for, you know, mounting parts to, you know, toothpicks to paint, or this is the tape I use to put on my desk and put the glue on because it's it's cheap tape and it's not really good for masking models off. What I do mask all my models off is I use frog tape. This is the really good high quality tape. This is the tape I use to mask off my model cars to paint to tone or whatever it feels and acts just like Tamiya tape but it comes in a much bigger wall so and I got my smaller wall in there as you saw earlier okay I got all my Flaho paints in here and Tamiya paints acrylic paints in here so all that fun stuff and toilet paper 
I use toilet paper a lot to clean off my, my paint brushes and you know it just lasts a lot longer so I just get a roll in here. Um, and the last drawer is where I keep my airbrush and basically all my splash paints. And I, I do got some wild cans back there. Those wild cans are probably maybe three or four years old. <laughs> so I don't even know if they're even good anymore but they're in there. But that's pretty much about it. There's some built up models right there I've done in the past. And then the uh, semi truck and laptop and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much about it. That's really all. Let me go ahead and show you the lights. I know a lot of you ask about, are going to ask about the lights. But on the light, I do have some clamps for, you know, crappy on the stuff. And then my light, I'm going to show you my desk light just in case you're wondering. And this is my desk light. This is the best light I've ever have. My dad actually got it for me for Christmas two years ago, I think. So and I'm not sure what the brand is, but he said it was expensive. He said it was over a hundred bucks. So, so um, or was it eighty or ninety, something like that. It was it's pretty up there in price. But I I absolutely love it. The thing clamps onto my desk right there, so it's out of the way. There's not a big stand right here that's in my desk and you know so it's out of the way where it comes to my desk and it just bends over it bends you know goes up and down and it tilts so and really i'll show you how easy it is it can just use a pinky and you know i love this i love this lamp so there's three different modes so you can dim it down or you can raise it up you know all the fun stuff so and then the best part about this magnifying glass the best part about this thing well i did i just mentioned it, it's magnifying glass yes it has magnifying glass this thing i use this all the time i use this all the time i absolutely love it and it's an led light so and you know it's i love it and it's easy switch on off you know you can raise it up to make it brighter and you know you can raise it as high as you want or as low and you can bend it back forward so I, I love this light it's it's fantastic and it lights up my whole desk as you can see I mean no problem see right away so but other than that I hope you got some ideas from me and I hope this helped you cutting mats just because where I got the cutting mats I just got them at Michael's or you can get my Hobby Lobby I got these at Michael's and they work fantastic so just in case you're wondering about that but other than that that's pretty much about it go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any more questions i will provide a link to the, in the description to these cabinets just in case you're interested i will try to find a light i'm not really sure what brand is but i'm sure i can find a similar one on amazon i'll probably try to find a cheaper one because this one my dad said it was pretty expensive and I can see why it's really high quality. I absolutely love that light. But I'll try to find a similar one to that on Amazon. If not, then just look up light with magnifying glass. I'm sure you'll find it. Um, I'll provide a link in the description to the Tamaya paint stands, the auger clamps, Jumbo, and some other stuff I think you should get is useful. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. And just in case you're wondering about my paint booth and stuff, I got all my painting stuff out in the other room, so that's in a separate room, and yeah, so this is just my workbench, but other than that, that's going to be it for this video, again, I hope it helped you, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, but until my next video guys, I'll catch you all next time, bye for now.